Lesson 3 Driving an RGB LED In this lesson, we'll learn how to use an RGB LED to create unique color combinations. Opened our tutorials, find the starter learning kit lesson, we are learned the third lesson driving an RGB LED. Let's code blocks for this experiment. At first, we are used the on button press block. It is a different type of block than you are used to. It is what is called an event block, code that is triggered when something happens, and only when that happens. You can select between button A, button B and when both buttons, A plus B, are pressed. Note that there is also a pin event function that works the same way and you can use it with external buttons to build your own external hardware events. Second, variables block, you can write it your needing value, like temperature value humidity value, in this experiment we need the red val, green val and blue val. Third, in the on buttons A plus B press block you will notice that we set the color pin variables to random numbers using the pick random block. You give this block a range of values between 0 and another value. In this case we use 255, which is peak of the analog right block's output. Fourth, download this example by clicking the download button in the upper right hand corner of the code window. After download the program to micro bit, you can see your LED turn on red. If you press the A button on the micro bit, the color will change to green, if you press the B button, the color will change to blue, and finally, if you press the A and B button, the RGB will turn a random color. <laughs> 